How are we doing guys? Um, just wanted to show you a quick little um, video and a lot of people have been wanting to get things like the Leviathan. Um, I've just finished refitting my second fleet of um, Val Ravens. This is the fitting that I've got on them. Three times uh, ablative armor, carapace, uh, level twos. Two um, parasitic armors of Mark III. This Xeno build is just something that I wanted to try against the skirmishes, so ignore that. Um, if you're going to make this fleet, I would suggest going with the original Mark III parasitics, which have the three original um, weapon defenses, the kinetic, spectral, and the explosive. Go with them. Uh, Sunder Thruster 3, and then three level ones and um, with the way that the weight system works and the way that the tier eight ships work you want more ablative and health or the of your weapons at this ship build with that armor and ablative you can either th fit three mark ones or a two and a three and it works out that the three mark ones actually give you more damage um i think the two and the three give you about 18 something 16 something um, so this is this is the fitting I've gone with, uh, kitting out with the extra health bonus from Victoria Awning. Uh, I don't have blight weapons as you've seen, so that's irrelevant. But we've got AOE, AOE radius plus 30% and the health 12,500 basically um, extra. So I just wanted to show the uh, miasmas because I've just hit one of these and it was a very successful um, successful run. I had 1% damage. Now, I believe if I had the Parasitic 3 armors on there instead of the Xeno 4s, I reckon you could probably get that down to actually being a free um, instant repair with the... especially when they've got the bonus... Um, the bonus repair tokens or events that they have with the, re the ship refit events. Um, the makeup of the Miasmas is six Val Ravens and a couple of um, Ericos. I think there's maybe four Ericos. Quite an easy fleet. Uh, I just autoed it with line formation, as you'll see in a second. This fleet's Quite easy to 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 manage, and as I, as I've shown you, all these are only Mark Four. So if you wanting to get up there with other ships, get your Mark get your Mark Fours together, get them refit like I have there, with the the exception of the uh, the armor, the plastic armor, as I've explained to you. Get them together, and then you can auto this this Leviathan in between events or whilst. Um, alliance wars on if you don't want to take part in that if you haven't got the ships to take part in that you can start focusing on, on other items like for example the dreadnoughts that are available as you can see I've been talking to Dogstar about it he's looking at doing the same he's been doing the monster monstrosities but from what I found and what I was told early on in the uh, farm for my Leviathan the Miasma is the easiest fleet as you can see, there's five Ericos and six Val Ravens. Line formation, they'll split off into two groups of three, and they'll. But there's always one that turns back to make a four for some reason. But anyway, they pop the first two, turn to the Val Ravens. You should lose two Val Ravens pretty quickly. As you see, this one here is the one that takes the most damage usually, but it manages to keep its ablative up, which means that its health doesn't go down either, or not as much anyway. Um, and as you can see, so well, this type, this one's not been as successful as the first one. I've taken two percent, but it's still a good threshold for damage when it comes to um, considering what fleet you're actually hitting and with what ships. These ships all have Mark One um, weapons on, as I explained to you before. So it, it is quite successful when when you consider what you're getting from it and. And what you're taking as damage from it from the the fleet itself. 
Uh, so that was very quick. I mean, what was that? Less than a minute, I'd say. Um, 99% or 98%. You're going to get about... I'd say you probably get about 45 hits um, if you're lucky and only get 1% and that's spread out across all six ships evenly. So I'd say realistically you maybe get like 30 to 35 hits. So if you could do auto run throughout the day and repair a couple of times, you could probably get your Leviathan. If you can commit to a day, you probably get it in a day. If you can commit to two days, you could probably have a Leviathan ready to go within two days if you have this little, little farming fleet. So for consistency, I'll throw it in again and we'll see what damage we take this time. So like I said, we took 2% there. The first time I took 1%. I think that's a really good um, percentage when it comes to, to fighting that 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 fleet. Like I say, the, the risk to gain is, is, is really, really good compared. Jump back in. Like I say, I'm not targeting anything i'm just letting them do their own thing for 98 percent this time i'm what, what i might do is um really because obviously i have no um no purpose for these ships at the moment this is the one that's taking the damage here this one was it's losing the ablative quite quickly um, what I might do is I might change up the formation and see how, how well it lasts um, in different formations. And I also might use a different commander. Victoria gives you extra health, which isn't really necessary because they're not losing too much of the health. So what might be a viable option is to use Daring Clay, as that way they might, with the extra 30% damage, they might pop a lot quicker. Uh, and that could be a decent um, little tactic to use as long as you can remain strengthy on your ablative. Like I said, I've shown you, they've, they do have three times carapace ablative twos, which is quite substantial when it comes to um, maintaining your, your ablative armour on these ships. Hope that's useful for you guys, uh, just to give you a little bit of insight that it only takes you maybe one or two events to get yourselves up to Mark IV if you can commit the time, get the armies together. If you fit the weapons on these ships with lesser armors, you can then use them ships like I've shown you um, on one of previous videos with the damage output that you're doing with this ship paired up with Daring Clay. You will be able to acquire the, um, the parasitic armors um, it might be worth spending a weekend getting 12 of them for yourself for this fleet. It will be a bit of a grind. You are looking at about 5, maybe 6 hits to get 150 fragments for one piece. So, you know, you do the maths, 6 times 12, you're looking at 72 hits. It's a lot, but over 4 days I'm pretty sure you can manage it. So yeah guys, a little quick video about that little fleet there to, to get you the Leviathan if that's what you're looking for. Um, good luck in the struggle to get that. Obviously it looks pretty easy there. Some of the hits you can do for 1%, 2% and that last one I think even took 4%. So it is just RNG when it comes to your luck in the fight. But the fleet can easily manage 1%. It's just a case of... As with anything, you look of the draw when it comes to how it fares against the fleet, as it is the same for how many fragments you get. You may be lucky and get 10, or you may be unlucky like I've been for the Mark IV and constantly get 6s. But yep, there you go guys. Get them Val Ravens done. Get them kitted out the way that you can see on there, if, if that pleases you. And, and then hopefully you'll have a Leviathan within a week or two after getting your, your, your Val Ravens kitted up and then spending a day or two farming the Leviathan. That's it from me guys. Take care and good luck in the game.